Hey everyone, this is a short animated video on depth first search that I did for fun. The actual code walkthrough will be posted soon. So this is Bill, and this is a graph of square blocks and some reddish colored roads. Bill wants to see which blocks he can reach in a depth first search starting from the green block. Hmm, I want to see where I can get to from this block, but I want to travel as deep down as possible first. Okay, what I'll do is go down this first path, and come back to this yellow path underneath me later on. Hmm, looks like I have some other options. Okay, I'll just do the same thing as before. I'll pick this first path, and come back to the one below me later on. Oh boy, looks like I'm at a dead end. Ha, no big deal. I'll just use my special ability, teleport. Once I'm at a dead end, the teleport ability allows me to go back to my last location. Cool, now where was I? Oh, right, I can head down this yellow path below me. Hmm, looks like there's nothing here. Oh, never mind, I forgot to look behind me. Great, now it looks like there's only one road here. Let's hope I'm getting closer to the end. Oops, I spoke too soon. Looks like I have two more choices. This graph is getting pretty deep. Hmm, two choices again, huh? Okay, I guess I'll take this first path and visit the yellow one later. Ha, huh, another dead end. No problem. I've got my super useful teleport ability. Cool, now that I'm back to my last location, I can visit that path below me. Uh, I think you're forgetting something, buddy. Huh? Who said that? It's me, the graph you're traversing. Oh, huh? I have two questions. Why can't you talk? And what am I forgetting? Uh, let's forget what I can talk for now. Instead, let's talk about what your algorithm is missing. Okay, but I think my algorithm is right. Well, it's close to right. Close to right? There are clearly more blocks for me to visit. Well, here's the thing. There's no guarantee I'm going to be acyclic. I may take the form of an acyclic graph, but there's no guarantee. Oh, are you saying I should keep track of which blocks I visit so I don't revisit them? Precisely. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Alright, I'll start over then. Okay, I'm supposed to keep track of which blocks I've already visited. So, what I'll do is mark each block I visit with a check mark. This way, if I see a block with a check, I'll know that I've already visited it. Cool, so I'm ultimately following the same algorithm now. So, I'll go to the top right, but I'll make sure to come back to the yellow path later on. Now that I'm at a new block, I'll mark it, proceed forward, and come back to the yellow path below me. Another dead end means I get to use my teleport ability. After, of course, I mark this block with a check. Now, I'll proceed down this yellow path. And check this block. Great, now I'll hike through this road below me. And add a check mark to this block. Now, I know that I marked blocks I've visited with checks. So, since this block in front of me has a check mark, I wouldn't bother visiting it again. This is actually a perfect time for me to teleport back to my last location. Oh, would you look at that? It seems like I've visited everything around me. So, it makes sense for me to teleport. Whoa, I've visited everything here as well. Time to teleport once more then. Okay, now it still looks like I have to visit that block below me. Time to add my check mark. And because I'm at another dead end, I'll teleport back to my last location. Well, would you look at that? All the paths in front of me have check marks. That must mean I visited everything I can reach from this block. If you enjoyed this content, please hit that like and subscribe button. See you in the next video.